Hey, this is Sam with Cycle, and today we're going to be looking at how to utilize OBS, Restream, and Cycle to bring mesmerizing visuals to your podcast with one click of a button. Reach new audiences with captivating visualized videos made from your podcast content. Utilizing audio reactive visuals is vital for keeping viewers engaged and increasing video watch time on your podcast content. With Cycle, you can visualize your audio live, right in browser, while you stream or when preparing the recording for sharing on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Kick, wherever. Restream will allow us to stream your podcast to multiple platforms. Let's first get started by setting up Restream in our OBS. Connecting Restream to your OBS is easy. First, head over to Restream and create an account. Then, back in OBS, head over to your settings section in the bottom right. Navigate to the stream section of the settings page. And under the service column, Select Restream.io, then simply connect your account. When you're done, make sure to hit Apply. Now back in Restream, make sure you add all the channels you would like to go live to. We can do Kick, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and many, many more. Now that you have your multi-stream set up, let's go over how to add amazing visuals to your podcast audio. If you've never used Cycle before, make sure you create a free account at app.cycle.com to get started. Cycle allows you to use fully automated audio responsive visuals with one click of a button. You don't have to download any software to get started as Cycle is web-based. Once you are logged in, you will be greeted with the main visualization screen. On the left menu, you will find all of the visualizer controls. Accessing your settings, full screen mode, hotkeys, glossary, and other important links will be found in the top right menu. Now let's take a look at the visualization control menu. Here you will first have to choose which visual feed you would like to use. At this time, Cycle offers two options, 3JS and MilkDrop. 3JS includes new and innovative visuals created by our community of visual creators, while MilkDrop cycles through tens of thousands of trippy visuals. Before we get our visualizer started, let's first go over how to route your microphone audio to Cycle. Cycle will automatically detect your microphone input via your external audio interface. In my case, this will be my Focusrite inputs. If you do not see your connected microphones, head over to your computer's sound settings and make sure the microphone you are using is shown under Input. Then within Cycle, select your microphone as the audio input. As a note, Make sure your microphone input in Cycle is the same as the microphone input in OBS. We can check this by hitting the three dots under the audio mixer, going to Properties, and making sure this is the same as Cycle's input. Let's familiarize ourselves with all of Cycle's settings and options. Cycle is the world's easiest audio visualization software that still comes packaged with amazing features that give you absolute control over the quality of your visuals. From creating curated visual playlists to focusing the visual's responsiveness on a specific frequency range, Cycle can be tailored to deliver the exact experience you want your viewers to watch. To get started, take a look at the top right of the main screen. When you click on the Settings button at the top right, you will see a list of menus that allow you to customize your audio visuals. First is your Playlist tab. This is where you can create playlists and choose visuals from a wide selection of amazing presets. You would name your playlist here and then click on Create Playlist to get started. Don't stress about naming your playlist though, as you can always come back and rename playlists you've already created. Next, head over to the Available Visuals tab. Here, you can preview any visual by hovering your mouse over it and speaking into your computer's microphone. As you preview the visuals, you will be able to see their standard behavior. Once you decide you want to include a visual in your playlist, simply click on the preview image and add it to the playlist. You can add as many visuals as you'd like to use. Lastly, in the Active Visuals tab, you can preview your playlist, reorder the loading sequence by dragging and dropping the visuals, and remove any visual by clicking the small X at the top right of each preset. Next are your watermark settings. This is where you can upload up to nine different watermarks or logos. And once we get the visual feed going, you can swap between each logo without stopping the visualizer. You can adjust the size and position of each watermark to ensure they load exactly how you want. Don't forget to save your watermark settings. Now, let's go over the Frequency Reactiveness tab. Here, you can set an EQ to tell Cycle which frequencies to respond to. For example, if you only want the visualizer to respond to the high frequencies, you can set that here. 
you can upload an MP3 to preview how the EQ is going to respond to your audio in real time. You can create and save multiple frequency reactiveness presets that can be easily loaded as you are switching between songs, genres, etc. Finally, you have your visualizer behavior settings. Here you can set the frame rate, duration, and transition times of your visual feeds. While the visual frame rate can be set up to 244 frames per second, the performance will be limited by the hardware you are running cycle on. The duration setting controls how long each visual will be displayed on screen before the engine automatically moves to the next visual in the playlist or queue. The transition setting controls how long the blend effect will persist when the visuals are automatically changed within the milk drop feed. Again, don't forget to save your settings. Now that you know how to create your visual playlists and route your audio, we can set up our visual feed on the left hand side. In the 3JS feed, you can select any visual playlists you've created. In both feeds, you can also select any audio presets you've created in the Visualizer Reactiveness tab. Now we are ready to visualize our audio. Simply hit Start Visualizer to instantly get mesmerizing visuals. Well, now that we have our visuals going, all we need to do now is integrate Cycle with OBS. Within OBS, create a new window source under the Sources module at the bottom by hitting the plus button. Select Window Capture as the source, press OK, and make sure this says Chrome Cycle, or whatever browser you are using. And then we can go back to Cycle and make this full screen by hitting H to get rid of the top toolbar, and clicking the left hand menu button. Within OBS, you can shape Cycle's window to your choosing. You can also add any filters by going down to your Sources window, selecting the window capture that is showing Cycle, right clicking it, and going to Filters. Here, we can add any effect we would like. Also, within Cycle, you have access to a bunch of hotkeys to customize your visual experience while the visualizer is running. A list of the hotkeys is shown at the top right of the main screen. Enter will lock the current visual in place. Space will cycle to the next visual. Backspace will cycle to the previous visual. H will hide the toolbar at the top. L will toggle your watermarks on or off. And 0 through 9 is how you cycle through all your uploaded watermarks. As a free user, you can enjoy all of Cycle's features without even having to enter your credit card details. This gives you absolute control to set up Cycle exactly how you want to use it and make sure our solution is right for you. Once you are ready to record or stream your visualized music, all you have to do is click on Start Visualizer to get it to work. If you plan on using Cycle frequently, I highly recommend looking at our subscription plans as those provide the best value. Once subscribed, the Cycle watermark will disappear the ability to activate your own watermark logos will be enabled. Subscriptions renew monthly or annually. Depending on the cadence you choose and are commitment free, you can cancel your subscription at any time. Now the last thing to do is stream. With Restream active, you will instantly go live to every account you have connected to Restream. With Cycle's mesmerizing visuals, you're sure to keep viewers' attention. Happy podcasting.